Hello, this is a walkthrough of the new clip library in Transient. So there used to be a giant clip library um, which kind of surrounded you and you, it was quite difficult to find the clips you wanted, although it was a lot of fun to kind of fly around and queue things. And so now this has been changed to a more traditional style of clip browser. So you up here, you can choose your instruments here, the filter, the results, and uh, you can combine that with genre. So soul land kicks gives you these kicks here. Um, you can click the play to audition or the open to open. So you can quite quickly start opening up different cues. Um, you can also type in a filter here. So I could type in something like E, see if EDM gives me anything and go confirm. Now that combines with the uh, search filters up here. So here now we've got a bunch of things with letters. ED, oh, wait a minute, I've got to type it in again. With EDM, it clears that text when you change these. Um, and you, when you audition here with the play button and it's a loop, it'll trigger in time with the click or the current tempo. So whatever you're auditioning will queue up nicely. All right, so let's turn the click off again. Um, and if I open that, it said come up as a loop. You see? So that's the clip browser, which you can open here in clip library. What you can also do now that this is more of a flat UI is when you've already got your clips open, like a bass drum here. If I open up the properties on that, I can click browse and you'll see the clip browser inside the properties. Um, and what that means is if I choose say one shots here, I can just audition things again and um, open it. Well, rather than pulling out a new cube, we'll open, open the audio directly into the clip that I've got the properties open of. Now let's do kick, if you want kicks, let's do kick drums. And that means if I've, for example, programmed up, already programmed up the drum beat or whatever, I can just audition different sounds in there. Um, so now I'll open for a different one. Which means I can uh, just quickly cycle through different sounds. I'm playing a loop. You can click browse choose loops here and I could just load in any other clip into it and it'll start on the one um, and that's quite nice if you've already got a song or something that's a collection of clips that fit together like this and I can quite easily grab one of the clips browse Choose loops and uh, like house house music, and I can click open and just start loading up different cute sounds into that part of the um, scene or whatever. And because. Um, Everything already knows about the global tempo and the loop length and all that sort of stuff. It always plays in time and in key when you're changing these sounds, pulling these different sounds in.